Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to our alternative English virtual class. Today, I am very excited to discuss with you all a new lesson. That is, the diary of a young girl, Anne Frank, which you will find it in page number one five one. Now, this lesson is an autobiography, okay, of Anne Frank. Which dates back to Second World War, when Adolf Hitler invaded Holland in nineteen forty-two. This book is also about a. This book is about a little girl named Anne Frank, who recorded all her life events in a diary. You can see this. Uh, you can see a glimpse of her diary in page number one five one, where all the dates are mentioned. Okay, now this girl, she has entered all these details, date wise, day wise, and year, uh, uh, day, date, and year wise. So we will be discussing all this. This is, uh, of course, like this lesson is a very vast, uh, it's a very vast, length, lengthy, le lengthy one because it is an autobiography. But I hope that you will find this lesson very interesting till the end of it, till the end of this lesson. All right. So, um, before we start the story, let me throw some light on the background of this story. Now we all know who was Adolf Hitler, right? He ruled Adolf Hitler ruled Germany from nineteen thirty three to nineteen forty five. He was the leader of the Nazi Party, and the world is aware of the fact that how the Jewish people were headed by Hitler and his party. So, when the Nazi Captured Holland in nineteen forty forty two. It is the story of one of the Jewish family who lived in hiding for two years. Okay, now Anne Frank belonged to this family. Now this girl, she recorded all the events. Okay, for two years she recorded all the events that took place in her. Diary. So, this is what we are going to learn. The details mentioned in her diary. All right. So, um, as we go as as we go further into the story, we will we would also see a glimpse of how the Jewish people were tortured. Okay, were tortured by Hitler and his party. So. Let us begin the lesson. In the picture, you can see that the girl is Anne Frank. Okay. Introduction. Analyst Mary, known as Anne Frank. Okay. Her real name was Analyst Mary. She was born on June twelfth, nineteen twenty nine, and died on. Late February or early March, nineteen forty-five. Now here, why it's why uh, there are two months given for her um for her death uh, for her death of death. Okay, the reason is, uh, see there uh, like it is not mentioned anywhere in detail. Uh, the particular day on which this girl died, she died on she died in the concentration camp. Okay, so. But um, from from the from the research from her diary, we can get an, uh, like um, we get to know that this girl she died either on late February or in the early March in the year nineteen forty five. So let's see about this girl. She was a German born Jewish girl. Who wrote while in hiding with her family, and four friends in Amsterdam during the German occupation of the Nederlands in World War Two. 
So that time, Netherland. Now it's known as Holland. Okay. So here, Hitler and his party captured Netherland. Okay. As prosecutions against the Jewish people increased, the family went into hiding in July 1942 in hidden rooms in her father's father Otto Frank's office building. Now here, this family they went into hiding to escape from Hitler uh, from Hitler's rule. In 1942, in a hidden room in her father's office building. Okay, and now her here we come to know the name of her father as Otto Franks. Her family had moved to Amsterdam after the Nazi gained power in Germany. Now, this family, they were living in Germany, okay? But when the Nazi party, when they, had, when they came to power, when they, came to in, uh, when, they come, when they came to full power in Germany, they had to f flee from Germany because they knew how Hitler was prosecuting the Jews, okay? He... Okay, here, uh, let me throw some light on how Hitler headed the Jews. So here, um, in your textbook, if you read your textbook in page number 156, you will see the title, The Holocaust. Okay, so you have to uh, see students, I strongly suggest you to read your textbook, okay, because it is not possible for... For us to discuss all the details from the textbook, so you can do justice only only after reading. You can do uh, do justice to this lesson only when you read the textbook. So here, let me discuss. Uh, let let us quickly um briefly discuss how the life of the Jewish uh how the life of this Jewish people were okay when Hitler invaded. Germany. So, um, Hitler, Adolf Hitler, he hated the Jews, okay. He blamed them for all the problems in Germany and convinced, and he tried, he convinced his fellow Germans, the other Germans, that the Jews were the enemy and they were the cause of all the problems that the Germ uh, Germans were suffering. Soon, Life became very hard for these Jewish people to live in Germany. And as war broke out, and Germany at World War II, okay, here we're talking about World War II. So as World War II broke out, and Germany invaded Poland, the persecution of Jews became greater again. So when Germany invaded Poland again, the persecution, the Jews were tortured, okay. The, the persecution of Jews became greater and harsher. And they were even forced to wear yellow stars on their shirts as a sign that they are Jewish. So that, the, so that the people would come to know by seeing the symbol of the star that they are Jewish. Now the Jewish people, uh, children, they could not attend public schools, nor they could go out of their homes, okay? Past a certain time. There, there was a certain time given to the Jewish people only, and only within... Within those time, within those period, the Jewish could be out of their house, or else after the time is over, they, the Jews, has to be inside their house, or else they would have to meet the consequences. And Jews were not even um, allowed to marry the Germans. So here, uh, life within um. Now um. This uh, this Ger the G uh, Germans, they deported. Okay, they transferred all these Jewish people to concentration camps. Later, okay, when Hitler rose to power more, okay, um, these Jewish people were thrown to concentration camps, or we can call it death camps. In that very camp, nothing, no facilities were given. They were left there to to be tortured and to die. Okay, so many Jews went into hiding because of this many jews they went into hiding in order to escape being arrested by the nazi party but most of them were captured life within these camps were horrible prisoners were forced to do hard physical labor 
and they were given little food. They were given so much of hard work to do, but in return, they were given a little food only in the concentration camps. And many people were forced to share a small place and they lived in extremely unhygienic conditions. Okay, the conditions in which they lived in the concentration camp was so unhygienic. Okay, very dirty. No, it was not, cleanliness was out of place. It was a small place where all of them were forced to live. Okay, so this concentration camp, they were meant, okay, this camp were especially meant for the Jewish people to work and starve to die okay they were left there to die so this we can in other words we can say that the concentration camps were built for the sole purpose of killing large group of people quickly and efficiently that was the purpose so um it is estimated that 11 million people were killed during the holocaust and six, out of the 11 million people, 6 million were alone. 6 million alone were Jews. So this was the scenario, okay, for the Jewish people when Hitler rose to power. So uh, coming back to our lesson, continuation. Uh, uh, her family means Anne Frank, okay. Her family had moved to Amsterdam after the Nazi camp power in Germany, but were trapped when Nazi occupation extended into the Netherlands. So this family, they went into hiding when Hitler rose to power. But this family were trapped. They could not come out of... They were trapped in their hiding when if when the Nazi party, that means uh, when Hitler's party, okay, when Hitler and his, and his party, they started invading Netherlands as well, okay? Now this, uh, this is the picture of the... Nazi party extend, uh, extending their rule, okay, extending their occupation. And the right hand side of the picture, you can see Hitler and his part party. After two years in hiding, the group was betrayed and transported to the concentration camp system where Anne died of typhus disease in Bergen Belsen within days of her sister Margot Frank. So here when Annie when uh, sorry when Anne Frank was sent to the concentration camp she died of a disease called typhus. Okay. This disease you can search it in the net if you want to know what is this disease. What is this disease? Okay, typhus. So this Anne Frank she died in the Bergen Belsen concentration camp. Okay. There in the very camp she died only a few days after her sister, even her sister, Margot Frank, even she died. Her father, Otto, the only survivor of the group, returned to Amsterdam after the war ended to find that her diary had been saved. Convinced that it was a unique record, he took action to have it published in English under the name The Diary of a Young Girl. So here, among the family, okay, among Anne, Frank, uh, Anne Frank's family, her father, he was the only survivor, sole survivor, who was able to come out of the concentration camp alive, okay? So when he came out, he found the diary written by Anne Frank saved, okay? So convinced, his father, now when he found the diary, he was convinced that it was a unique record, okay? So he decided that he would publish it and he would make the world know, okay? What they had to go through, what they had to face. In, and, and they published uh, the book under the name The Diary of a Young Girl. So this is how the diary came, um, came to be known. The diary was given to Anne Frank for her 13th birthday and chronicles the events of her life. Now, in this diary, it was this diary was given to her on her 13th birthday. Now, just see how young, how, how young the girl was, right? When this happened, she was only 13 years old. So... And so in this diary, she chronicles the events, means she writes down, she records down all the events of her life from 12 June 1942 until its final entry on, entry of 1st August 1944. So see the date from 1942 till 1944, you will find all the diary entry, okay? 
So her last record was on 1st August 1944. After that, they were captured and they were sent to the concentration camp. It was eventually translated from its original touch into many languages and became one of the world's most widely read books. Her diary describes a struggle to define herself within the climate of operation. It also throws light on the growth of a young girl to maturity. It also describes the social life of the families met to go in hiding. But in August 4, 1944, the Frank family was arrested and sent to the concentration camp. Anne's diary, the observation of an imaginative, friendly and sensitive girl comes to an abrupt and silent end. So once again, this girl, as you can see, she is Anne Frank, the little girl, okay? The 13 years and the 13 year old girl, Anne Frank, who died in the concentration camp. So um this is um so students, this is what we have for today. In our next class, we would uh start with the diary entry starting from Saturday, 13th June 1942, which you will find in page 156. Okay, so Kindly go through your textbook. I strongly, once again, I strongly suggest you to go through the textbook before you come, uh, before you attend the next class. Thank you.